This video demonstrates a spatial temporal crime mapping prototype called DC CrimeVis, developed at the Penn State GeoVista Center. The DC CrimeVis prototype cleans and plots a crime incident data set published by the District of Columbia Data Catalog atop the Google Maps web mapping service. Upon interest of the application, the user is presented with a central overview Google Map that plots each crime incident as a circle, as well as a set of data layers to the right and a set of temporal controls along the bottom. The user is able to interact with the central map view much like any other Google Map uh, mashup. The user can zoom in using the, the widgets. The user can also pan using the provided widgets or pan by directly manipulating the map. Here I'm clicking on the map, holding, dragging the map over, and then releasing. The crime incidents themselves are also interactive. The user can select a crime incidence of interest to view more details about that crime. This includes the ID, the date of the crime, the shift during which it was reported, the district, a description or narrative if available, uh, and the address. The user can also activate the Google Street View uh, functionality to see a, an oblique image of the location of the crime. The Data Layers panel provides other reference information that might be useful for interpreting the crime patterns. The user can toggle on uh, polygonal layers, such as police districts, and then identify a single district um, or subregion of the city of interest. The user can also toggle on different points of interest, such as police stations, fire stations, hospitals, or metro stations. Like the crime points, selection of each individual point of interest provides more information, more detail. The Data Layers panel also allows the user to filter by crime type. We currently are mapping arsons, homicides, and sexual abuses in the District of Columbia. By unchecking each box, these incidents are removed from both the central map as well as the temporal histogram. The temporal histogram provides a, a, a temporal view of the data for, for temporal or time series exploration. The user can mouse over different parts of the stacked histogram and view details about that particular time interval. So here I've moused over February 2006 and viewed the frequency within that. I've also am able to view all instances in February 2006 in relation to January or the selected um, time interval. The default histogram shows, bins the time according to the temporal union of the month and then shows this crime linearly. The user can change both the temporal unit patterns, so here I'm changing from month to say year, as well as the, the, the sequence from linear to perhaps a composite. So here I'm viewing each every January, then February, then March in a cyclical pattern. Each time the user creates a new uh, histogram, an animation um, allowing the user to step through these is automatically generated. Viewing the animation allows the user to focus on the map to view the changes to see either patterns that exist throughout the time interval or to view the changing location of hotspots. 